We all want students here in Texas to have the best chance at success, and for some, that starts very early. Lawmakers in Texas are pushing to restore funding for pre-kindergarten programs for children around four years old. As KXAN's Amanda Brandeis explains, money spent now could pay off later. Pre-K is a lot different than it used to be. Seven months. That's all it takes. It's a lot more than letters and numbers and shapes. This is a, an age when children just want to discover and are curious. With several bills aimed at funding pre-K, it's an exciting time to be three. This does not happen every year. It's really exciting to see how much attention pre-K is getting and how much the research that's out there on the benefits of pre-K is rising to the top. Number two. Representative Dan Huberty unveiled House Bill 4, which would create high-quality pre-K programs. School districts can opt into the program, uh, and they can use the money as they see fit. We're not prescribing how they have to use those dollars. To get those dollars, schools must follow guidelines, like creating parental involvement programs and certifying pre-K teachers. Supporters say with this bill, there's a return on the investment. According to Huberty, for every $1 put in the education system, there's a payback of $3.50. Right now, due to recapture, the district is in a place financially where it's difficult to fund full-day pre-K. The state should fund pre-kindergarten as well. It shouldn't just be AISD. And maybe seven months here could someday lead to here. Amanda Brandeis, KXAN News. While some districts like Austin ISD provide full day pre-kindergarten to qualified students, after the cuts in 2011, the state only provided enough money for half day pre-K. That equals $3,650 for each student. If approved, HB 4 would allow districts to receive up to an additional $1,500 per student. The bill sets aside $100 million for the program.